So now with dry January almost up, we're looking at what's set to be this year's top tipple. Sales of rum are expected to exceed the £1 billion pound mark in 2018. And here to guide us through the many varieties of this uh, now very popular spirit is best-selling author and drinks expert Dave Broom. It's lovely to see you, Dave. So nice oh, to see you. Why? 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 Because this has happened with uh, vodkas, it's happened gins, with gins yeah. in a big yeah. way. So why rum? Well, I think rum has always been there. It's been popular. People have been drinking mojitos. You know, it's been yeah, a really trendy yeah. drink. But people maybe they haven't realised it's rum. Then yeah. all of a sudden it's just one of these things. You kind of go, whoa, you know, where have you suddenly come from? I think the, the variety is much greater these days and I think the, the premium end of rum is beginning to develop. People are beginning to understand its diversity. Mm -hmm. so, all right. So, yeah, it's Let's it's talk really through some of the ones you bought with you today then. We're starting off with this one. I'm going to kick off with this, which is Appleton. This, so this is from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Jamaica is big, punchy, in your face, it powerful. It smells like Christmas pudding to me. Yeah. Yeah, big concentrated yeah. dark fruit. Which is a good thing. Mm. Slightly oily texture. I wouldn't normally have it neat, it'd normally have some, some ice in it. Right. Or indeed, mix it. And so what have you mixed it here with? This is with clementine juice. Oh, okay. Uh, I prefer that to orange juice. It's just got that it's a little bit sweeter, but it's also got an interesting acidity to it. And I think it just nice. really yeah. works nicely. I actually think I yeah. do think it sort of needs a bit of something with it, do you? Yeah. No, I love them neat. You like it neat? Okay. Yeah, I always find... Uh, but even, oh, but cool. gin, I like I like gin neat, because you can taste all the botanicals in gin, which you, you put tonic in and they all disappear. Oh, OK, all right. Like See? Yeah. I don't What's the next about. one? This one's from Barbados. Yes, so we've gone down to Barbados. Very different style to the Jamaican one. So this is RL Seals. I like the bottle. This is 10 years old. Uh, which, in rum terms, Caribbean terms, is like the equivalent of a 18 or 20-year-old scotch. Mm -hmm. So much cleaner, more citrus. <laughs> Beautifully balanced. I mean, it's quite punchy, isn't it? Relatively punchy. Again, I would soften this down with a little bit of ice or water. A little bit it's of ice. one of my favourite uh, cocktails, actually. In old yeah, fashion. the old fashioned, uh, rum old fashioned, really easy to make. I'm, I'm a great believer in making making cocktails simple. Well, it smells good. A little bit of sugar syrup. Yeah. About six drops of orange bitters or Angostura bitters or these are old fashioned bitters. Uh, ice and the rum. Boom. Oh, that is simple. strong. It's we're, a strong drink, gonna be, you know, but it proper slowly style. dilutes. It's, well, it's a drink that you take your time over. It I've only had three stronger. slices of toast today. Have yeah. you? You might have to have mm. another three. <laughs> um, OK, what's next? Uh, now moving oh. to Cuba. Cuba's, uh, again, completely different. It's a dry style of rum, uh, lighter in character, a really, really complex blending regime going on, and the minimum, the youngest rum in here is seven years old. And where's this one from? This is from Cuba. Oh, from Cuba, OK. And this is more, it's more soft, it's got a like, coffee note to it on the nose. Mm. Yeah, very clean. That tastes yeah. a Elegant. bit like whiskey to me, slightly. It does a little bit, yeah, there's a bit more of the oak coming through, which is why you're is picking up the whiskey, yeah. Adapts well the... done, see, that? that's an excellent note. Thank you very much, Best thank so you very far. much. Here we are. And this is a really, really versatile rum. Goes with any kind of mixer at all. So I've made one into a cubata, which is with, with uh, uh, cola uh, and lime, and one with coconut water, mm. oh, which I love. Rum and coconut yeah, water. Yeah, I love that, and it's really oh. good for you as well. I was going to say, well, the electrolytes, yeah, so you're exactly. replacing those as you're drinking it. The key with coconut water is have, nice? it, have it really cold, otherwise it tastes like miso soup. Yeah. You don't really want that. Not, into, not entirely sure I'm keen <sighs> on no. that, actually, funnily That's enough. That's right, it's, it's, it's up to you. Yeah, no, I'll go, I'll go yeah. back it's to the office. It's just really field. strong. Rum yeah. seems stronger than I remember it. Well, how do you remember it? Maybe just from what occasion. Do you know what I think? I never start a night on rum. Oh, and that's no, maybe why. Maybe that's why. Yeah. 